Oh, I can't see your desk desktop at all. Yes, no. No, not now. No, now you can get my desktop. Oh, yes. All right. So already we discussed general test cases. Already we discussed general test cases. Today normal test cases. Normal, normal, normal test cases we will discuss today. So whenever you are facing the interview, that time they may ask you like write the test cases for keyboard. So then here we can use check or verify. We can use some keywords check or check or verify. Check enter button is available or not. Check space button is available or not. Check backspace button is available or not. Check shift button is available or not. Check caps lock available or not. Check escape button available or not. Check tab button is available or not. Check space button is available or not. Check all 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 puppets available or not. Check all numerical keys available or not. Check up and down keys available or not. Check enter button is available or not. Check tab button is available or not. Check delete button is available or not. So like we can write the test cases. So on this part we can tell the test cases. No, tell me test cases for white paper. No, tell me test cases for white paper. Minimum we should write 20 test cases for white paper. Test cases for white paper. Test cases for white paper. Tell me, anyone? Um, check if the color is white or not. Yeah, already I told you white. So, check it is pure white or not, we can write it. Check it is pure white or not. Pure white. So, there are two types of papers, madam. One is pure white, other one is rough paper. Rough paper we can get in the market. Okay. One is classmate notebook is pure white. Classmate notebook is pure white. And other rough papers also we can get in the market. So that is not pure white. Something uh, brownish. Check it is pure white or not. Hmm. Next. Change. Check if we can write or not. Check it is you write or not. Mm. Check it is. Check it is. We can. We can write or not. Mm, next. Check if we can erase or not. Yes. Erase means. Erase, delete, kind of. We can erase or not. Hmm. Next. Check if we can color or not. Check it is? Yeah. Check if we can color or not. Use colors. Mm -hmm. No. Check it is. No. Check, check, check if we can tear or not. Clear or not. Tear, tear. Head. Yeah. Ah, check it is. Check it is terrible or not. Okay. Okay. Next. Check if we can draw or not. Mm. Or is it the same as right? Uh, check it is. 
check it check it easy we can use all type of pens or anything okay all type of pens mm -hmm. and Next. Check it is. Rule or unrule? Check it is. Rule or unrule? Check. Both sides empty or not? Check it is ready to write or not. Check it is stayed inside any corner. Check it easy. Check it easy. Any water bar, any water bonds on it. Check it easy. White paper or letter head. Check. Check it is waterproof or not. Check the quality of the paper. Check the size of the paper. Check it is wet condition or dry condition. Check it is. If it is wet condition, we can write or not. Check, check it is. If wet condition. We can write or not. Check it is. Clean. Folded or not. Check it is foldable or not. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Check it is in the holes on it. Check if it's clean or not. Check it is? If it's clean or not. It's clean means? Clean. Clear. Oh, okay. It is very clean or not. So in the other for the test is this first white paper. So they may ask you, they may ask you write the test cases for pen, write the test cases for notebook, 
write the descriptions for mobile phone write the descriptions for table write the descriptions for pen so your homework is your homework is lift to one is lift to second one is pen third one is table your homework lift to pen no table sir your homework is your homework is lift this pen table so write the test cases for these three things minimum 20 you should write minimum 20 test cases for lift to minimum 20 test cases for pen no minimum 20 test cases for table so this is the main very very important concept madam test case is nothing but it is an idea of testing you should think uh, ideology just based on your ideology you can able to write the test cases so it is very very important already i told you in the first class itself a test engineer should know only two things first of all you should understand the customer requirements after understanding the requirements how to write the test cases if you know these two things you can work with any software company any project anywhere in the world so first of all we know how to understand the requirements after that how to write the test cases main concept so that's the reason and uh, we, we discussed just general test cases and the normal test cases also general test cases and the normal test cases also this is not correct way madam this is not correct way already we discussed that is the correct way this is only for general knowledge purpose whenever you are facing the interview that time they may ask you like write the test cases for pen so we should write test cases like this okay whenever you are working software company yesterday we discussed now that is the test case template that is the test case format this is not a uh, test case format only for just general knowledge okay creativity purpose so ideology purpose we learn this concept okay right next concept real time test cases next concept to real time test cases so this test cases real time test cases already some people they wrote uh, some test cases so we need to observe today that is today session so today concept is real time test cases so this is the application screenshot here we have an application that application is screenshot this screen name is donor number text box screen name is Donor number text box, donor registration. So in this first field, donor number text box. Screen name is donor registration page. In this first field, donor number text box. And the second field UHID, third one date of registration. So donor number text box UHID, date of registration, date of registration. So here in this application we have nearly 30 to 40 buttons or elements. We have 30 to 40 elements. We need to test the each and every field. We need to test the each and every field. So first of all, we will give the requirements, customer requirements. So based on the customer requirement, we will test the each and every field. We will test the each and every field. So, right.
yes first test case first test case open the login screen open the donor registration screen so yesterday we discussed to open the login screen so whenever you invoke the login screen login screen should contain username password connect to fields to login key and cancel buttons so in the normal example we discussed day before yesterday so open the login screen so what is customer expected so here this company people they are maintaining some extra fields they are not maintaining actual value directly they are writing pass or fail so each and every software company separately they will maintain some template that is test case template so there is no uh, uh, unique or uh, template there is no unique or uh, sorry there is no common template for all the companies each and every company having a one unique template based on the company unique template they will write the test cases so this company people they are maintaining test case id use case id and skin id and test case test case description expired value so there is no actual value directly they are writing pass or fail right first to test case first to test case open the donor registration page whenever invoke the donor registration page 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 should display the following fields like man on uh, donor registration title mandatory fields like uh, title list box first name edit box last name edit box material status list box date of birth edit box age edit box and list box gender list box so here observe carefully button type also they are mentioning very clearly button type also they are mentioning very clearly right right so first test case 444 so second test case second test case test case description enter more than 50 characters in donor number text box this is the customer expected expected value is nothing but that is that is a test case description enter more than 50 characters in donor number text box that is a description what action we are performing we will write in the test case description what action we are performing we will write in the test case description expected value donor number text box should not accept more than 50 characters so this is the first requirement customer is giving donor number text box should not accept more than 50 characters so here so customer is saying 0 to 50 characters only so once we will take 0 to 50 characters that is called valid inputs with the help of valid inputs if you do testing that is called positive testing once we will take 51 characters, so this are, these are the invalid input. With the help of invalid inputs, if you do testing, that is called negative testing. Here we are doing positive testing as well as negative testing also. With the help of valid inputs, if you do testing, that is positive testing. With the help of invalid inputs, if you do testing, that is negative testing. So positive testing and negative testing, both we will do here. Next. Donor number text box should not allow special characters. Once we will take special characters, once without special characters we will do test. Once if you take, it is, will not allow, should not allow special characters, should not allow special characters. With the help of special characters, if you do testing, that is negative testing. Without special characters, if you do testing, negative testing. So positive testing and negative testing, both we will do here. So here also we are doing two types, one is positive, other one is negative. Here also once we are doing positive, other one is negative. Next, third requirement. Donor number text box should not allow alpha, alpha numeric values. Should not should allow alpha numeric values. Donor number text box should allow only alpha numeric values. Once we will take alpha numeric values, we will do testing that is called positive testing and without alpha numeric values. Once we will take without alpha numeric values. So that is called negative testing. Positive testing we are doing, negative testing also we are doing. So here donor number text box should allow alphanumeric values so if you take with alphanumeric values that is positive testing without alphanumeric values that is called negative testing positive testing we are doing negative testing we are doing if you want to satisfy the single field here we are taking customer is saying three requirements we are writing we are taking six inputs of data one is 50 50 characters once we will take 51 characters one is positive other one is negative 
once we will take special characters so once without take special characters once we will take all parameric values once we will take without all parameric values so here we are taking six sets of data if we want to satisfy the single field we are taking six sets of data we are taking six sets of data customer is giving those three requirements based on the requirements we will write the test cases based on the customer requirements we will write the test cases based on the customer requirements we will write the test cases based on the customer requirements we will write the test cases right second uhid field uhid field second uhid field uhid test box should not allow more than 30 characters uhid test box should not allow more than 30 characters and uhid text box should not allow special characters second test case Second, third one, UHID text box should accept only alphanumeric values. Here also we will take valid data and invalid data. With the help of valid data, if you do testing, that is called positive testing. With the help of valid invalid data, if you do testing, that is called negative testing. So, so this is the expected value. Whenever the developer developed application testing to testing area, that time we will write actual value. That time we will write actual value. That time we will write actual value. That is called test execution. That is called test execution. So expected value is nothing but customer requirement. Expected value is nothing but customer requirement. Whenever the developer developer application came to testing area, so we will perform this action. Whatever we are getting, we will write in the actual value column. Whatever we are getting, we will write in the actual call, actual value column. So that is called test execution. That is called test execution. That is called test execution. Next, we will compare the expected value with the actual value. If it is both are same, we can give the status pass, otherwise we can give the status fail. That is result analysis. That is called result analysis. We will compare the expected value with the actual value. If it is both are same, we can give the status pass, otherwise we can give the status fail. That is result analysis. That is called result analysis. That is called result analysis. So, here positive testing we are doing, negative testing also we are doing. So, here 444 to 540, 444 to 540, nearly 90 plus 90 plus test cases we have in the document. So this document I will send you. So 444 to 540, nearly 90 plus test cases we have in the document. Just go through it and read the all 100 test cases and automatically you can get confidence. You can able to write the test cases or not, you can find out. So based on the test cases, once again, if you want to repeat the test cases concept, I, uh, once again, I will repeat you. Otherwise, just write the test cases for lip to pen to table and just observe these 100 test cases also. Screenshot I will send you as well as application test cases also I will send you. Madam. Right. So, STLC contains six phases, initial phase, sorry, test case, STLC contains six phases, test planning over, test development over, test execution over, result analysis over. What is test execution? Whatever we are getting, that result, we will write in the actual value column, that is called test execution. Result analysis, we will compare the expected value with actual value. If it is both are same, we can give the status pass, otherwise we can give the status fail. So, that is result analysis. That is test case concept is over. That is test case concept is over. And after result analysis, after result we have one more field that is that is CBR. Today concept is CBR. Today concept is CBR. Homework you should do, madam. So, but another small concept I will teach you now. CBR. Next concept is CVR. Next concept is CVR. CVR. CVR is nothing but seriousness of the defect. CVR is nothing but seriousness of the defect. There are four types of CVR. One is fatal. Fatal, major, minor, suggestions. There are four types of severities. Fatal, major, minor, suggestions. Fatal defect means, 
what is fatal defect whenever you are raising the defect compulsor we should mention the severity if it is small defect or big defect compulsor we should mention the severity severity is nothing but seriousness of the defect particular defect is seriousness ness compulsor we should uh, uh, we should tell we should uh, raise the whenever you are raising the de uh, defect compulsor we should mention the severity of the defect so there are four types of severity fatal defect to major defect to minor defect to suggestion so, so what is fatal defect what is fatal defect we will discuss now fatal fatal defect fatal so customer want two buttons in the application customer wants two buttons in the application customer wants two buttons in the application but the developer developed only one button Developer developed only one button. One second, one second. Hello? Uh, So there are four types of uh, defects, fatal, major, minor. What is fatal defect? Actually customer want two buttons in the application, but the developer developed only one button. One button is totally missed. One button is totally missed. So this is called unavailability of functionality. So total functionality, half of the functionality missing. So this, uh, this type of defect is known as fatal defect, unavailability of functionality, unavailability of functionality, unavailability of unavailability of functionality. If it is total functionality missing, then we can say it is a fatal defect. Fatal means unavailability of functionality. So this type of defects is known as fatal defects. Unavailability of functionality. Total total functionality missing. So that time we can say it is a fatal defect. Next to major defects. Next to major defects. Next major defect. This is the application functionality. So we have value one field and value two field result. So um, we have two buttons, one is add button, second one is sub button. One is add button, second one is sub button. And taking 10 in the place of value 1 and taking 20 in the place of value 2 and clicking on add button it is showing minus 10. I am taking 10, I am taking 20, I am clicking on add button, it is showing minus 10. I am clicking on sub button, it is showing 30. I am clicking on add button, it is showing minus 10. If I click on sub button, it is showing 30. So this type of defect is known as major defect. So functionality is properly working, just label change, just label change. This type of defect is known as major defect, just label change just label change issues so this type of defects is known as major defects next minor defects we have an application value one it is very small edit box value two it is very big edit box result it is very very small and it was so there is no look on field this type of defects is known as minor defects this type of defects is known as minor defects this type of defects is known as minor defects 
this type of defects is known as minor defects this type of defect there is no look and feel there is no look and feel this type of defects is known as minor defects last one suggestions in the place of plus if you write minus in the place of positive or uh, big letter if you write small letter in the place of comma if you write dot so this type of defects is known as suggestions these are very very small defects suggestions suggestions there are four types of defects partial major minor suggestions suggestions means very small defects. very suggestions means very small defects so look and feel defects is minor defects suggestions is very small defects all right next concept priority next concept priority next concept is priority what is priority in what sequence the defect has to be rectified priority means in what sequence in what sequence in what sequence defect has to be rectified in what sequence defect has to be rectified in what sequence defect has to be rectified that is called priority so we have four severities already we know four severities what are those partial major minor suggestions we have four defects partial major minor suggestions priority is also we have four priority is also we have four one is critical high medium low partial high medium low critical high medium low now we have four defects we have four defects which one you will rectify immediately we have four defects so which one you will rectify immediately partial or major or minor or suggestions which one madam partial hmm? partial partial no major no <laughs> suggestion no the minor oh. how much one <laughs> based on the situation priority will be changed based on the situation priority will be changed sometimes we will give more priority to partial defects sometimes we will give more priority okay. to minor sometimes we will give more priority to suggestions sometimes we will give more priority major so based on the situation priority will be changed right now i am angry so i will give more priority to my food for lunch i will give more priority so sometimes i will not give more priority for lunch sometimes i will give more priority to class so based on the situation both based on the situation priority will be changing so before marriage all the guys they will give more priority to mom mother after marriage i will think they will give more priority to wife so this is the truth okay so priority based on the situation priority will be changed in intermediate i will give one more priority to some my friend so now i i completed my intermediate degree pg and everything i completed now i am giving more priority to someone so priority will be changed based on the situation priority will be changed 
So right now, if we want to continue the class compressor, we need power. So right now, internet connection also very important. Right now, we, we give more to this power and internet connection. So based on the situation, after this class, I no need of internet, I no need of power. So without uh, mm -hmm. power also, uh, I can uh, do uh, some other work. Right now, this, mm -hmm. this, these are the very, very important. Power and internet connection is very, very important. So based on the situation, react will be changed. So, there are four types of severities, fatal, major, minor, suggestions, priorities, critical, high, medium, low, critical, high, medium, low. All right. So, first situation. So, some people, they are thinking like, uh, fatal, if it is fatal defective, we will give critical priority. If it is major defective, we will give high priority. If it is minor defective, we will give medium priority. If it is suggestions, we will give low priority. But that is not correct. So, based on the situation, priority will be changed. First situation, I will tell you. Low priority, low severity. Low severity, but we will give high priority. Low severity, but we will give high priority situation. Low severity, but we will give high priority situation. High priority situation. Low severity but we will give high priority situation. So for example, in the that application, this is software company, Infosys company or Wipro or anyone. So this is the company. Actually, one project you need to deliver it tomorrow. The project you need to deliver it tomorrow, not today, tomorrow. Just to visiting purpose, customer is coming to company. Just to, he is coming to that place. So beside uh, the place uh, he has, uh, this company is located. So just only visiting purpose, he is coming to company. Only that application need to deliver it tomorrow. Okay. Just visiting purpose, customer is coming to company. Okay. Now, which defect we will rectify immediately? Um. A minor one? Yes, minor one. Why? Because that's not important for today, because this is going to be happening tomorrow. Okay. Why do we need to give more priority to minor? Uh, because the um, customer is coming today, not tomorrow. Okay, so what? Minor is right answer, but you are not giving uh, correct explanation. So that is the look and feel. So he will not work with application, just he will come and end to end, just he will observe and he will go. So that is the minor defect means look and feel defect. Look and feel. Look and feel. First he will come and he will see the look and feel only. So we will rectify the problem first. Look and feel issues we will solve. So low severity, but we will give critical priority. We will give critical priority. We will give critical priority. So this defect is minor defect, but we will give critical priority. We will give critical priority. We will give critical priority. Okay. Customer one, next situation. High severity. High severity. But we will give low priority. High severity, but we will give low priority. We will give low priority. So, high severity, low priority situation. So, application need to deliver it tomorrow. Application need to deliver it tomorrow. So, uh, customer said he want two buttons in the application. But developer developed only one button, one button not yet developed. So, one button developed we tested. So, another button not yet developed. So, this defect is? High severity. High defect. Fatal defect. But we will give low priority. Why we will give low priority? Why because so this is half of the functionality developed, developed half of the functionality not yet developed. So we will not develop the application. So if it is developed by developer, then only we can test the function uh, application. But here developer is not yet developed. So that is a further defect. But we will give low priority. We will give low priority. We will give 
low priority. This is the concept, very very important concept, severity and priority concept. So this is the test case template is over. In the test case template only, we can get the severity priority concept also. In the test case template only, we can get severity and priority concept also. So manual testing is manual testing, test planning, test development, test execution, result analysis over. Tomorrow we can complete the entire manual testing, madam. Before that, you should study the test cases and yes. Test case ID, test case type, test case description, expected value, actual value, result to severity, priority, reference. So if it is any remarks or references, we can write in the other column. So severity, priority concept is over. So up to now we discussed test plan over, test development over, test execution over, result analysis over, and severity, priority over. Okay. Tomorrow we can complete entire manual testing. Tomorrow last class of manual testing. And madam, madam. Yes. And uh, is there any other timings, madam? Oh, this timing is this is the lunch time. If it is any possible tomorrow or every Saturday and Sunday, if it is any other time feasibility, is there any feasibility for you? Well, uh, what time do you start your lunch? Uh, I can come around nine, nine or nine thirty then. You are, uh, what is the time now, right now? Um. Mr. Shan. It's uh, about to ten. 